Hello and what's going on guys, my name's Zach and welcome back to episode 2 of Zach Fits. In this series we're going to be taking some non-standard modules and weapons and equipment and fitting them onto some random ships. So today's ship, we'll just jump straight right into it, uh, is the Rock or the Rock, however you like to pronounce it. And instead of blasters or rails, we're going to be putting lasers on it and we're going to be facing it up against uh, Nightmare. So basically, this is a poor man's Nightmare, this was the whole idea. And we're going to be focusing the whole fit around incursions. And there it is guys, the poor man's nightmare, aka laser rock. Now we'll just have a quick look at the ship bonus and you'll see why I think you can get away with putting lasers on it in the first place. So, 10% bonus to large hybrid turret, optimal. There's no mention of any damage and you do get resist level as well, which is pretty good. So putting lasers on doesn't nerf the damage too much because obviously there's no bonus to the ship. Where the nightmare you do actually get a bonus to putting lasers on so that gives you an extra couple of hundred dps on the the final fit of that which i'll show you at the end when we do some comparing um power grid issues and capacitor issues as always the mega pulse lasers are crazy to fit i could only actually fit seven on with a dual heavy in the end so that is a bit of a pain in the ass for reloading but if you put like a full rack of the, the dual heavies on, which does fit easily, you end up with like loads of power grid spare, so why not put the megas in just to fill that power grid up and get yourself some extra DPS as well. And in the mids we've got some resistance, quite a lot actually. We've got a Thermic, a AM and a Invol, just to beef them up a bit. Let's see how high it goes with them all on. So we've got a 76 and 81, which is all we really need to be concerned with because we're fighting against Sanchez obviously and that's what they're going to be shooting. So that's not bad at all. I think the Nightmare only gets about 78, 79 across the two of them maybe, so it's not that uh, bad. And uh, obviously the ship does get bonus to resistance, so that's pretty decent. Uh, we've got some, uh, well, Air Lord Shield Extender in there, just to give it a bit of buffer for the harder incursion sites, for when you need to get some Lodgy in there. Uh, cap Recharger, obviously, to help with the crystals, because they suck your cap up, and some tracking. Now if your cap is really, really, really bad, you can actually swap that out for another cap charger or take the large shield extender out for another cap charger, depending on what site you're running. So you just need to, obviously you guys will know a little bit better when you're running incursions what you need to be fitting onto your ships. And the loads have got three heat sinks. Now I would recommend obviously putting the true Sancho ones on and that'll just beast that DPS right up there. Um, power relay again, just for the, the cap and the rigs. I've had to put control circuits on there as well because oh, the cap is just terrible, terrible. But this is just to keep it cap stable. Obviously, if you don't need to be cap stable, then I would recommend taking the rigs off, put the AM and a thermal resistance rig on there, and probably like a core defense field extender or something. If you've got yourself a cap buddy to, to keep throwing you some cap every now and again. Obviously, damage control, that's pretty good when you need to be in a logy. So, it didn't turn out too bad at all, this one. Um, the guns themselves were getting 703.3 DPS with the Scorch with the optimal of 45 and then 10 on top of that with the fall off so I don't actually think that's too bad, don't actually think that's too bad at all. I think compared to the Nightmare you only get like another 6k optimal or something like that so it's, it's, it's really on par with the Nightmare but the DPS of the Nightmare with Scorch I think that's like 900 or something, I'll, I'll check it out later. So you can see on your screen there we've got the two side by side so they're a lot easier to compare. Yeah, we'll start off with the damage. So the Nightmare is getting 1029.4 with Navy Multis and that's a range of, let's just have a look, 17 and 30. So it's not too bad at all where the Rock gets with Multis 842 with a range of 15 optimal and 25 all in fall off. So only a couple of Ks difference there so that's not too bad although you are losing quite a lot of DPS with the rock but like I say it's 700 mil cheaper so that's a fair trade off for that one. Right let's move on to the Scorch. So the Scorch on the Nightmare is doing 852.1 DPS with the optimal of 51 and a fall off within 64 and the rock does 703.3 DPS with a range optimal range of 45 and a fall off within 55 so again I think that's completely acceptable. You're only losing like 6k like optimal versus the the nightmare so although you are losing quite a bit of dps like 150 almost there but like i said 700 mil cheaper so i think that's that's rather acceptable and even the tank looking at the tank the the rock gets 76 am and 81 thermal 
And the Nightmare's only getting 74 on the AM and 79 on the Thermal, and I've even got some like rigs on there as well to boost that up, so that the rock's actually like shining there with them resistance bonuses, so if you've got that maxed up at level 5, you're going to be getting quite a lot. So one of the big differences is the overall shield buffer. So on this, on the Nightmare, we've got 21,540 HP, and the overall AHP is 93.6k. So that's that's quite a lot. Uh, whereas the Rock is only 13.9k on the shields, with an overall AHP of 79k. So there is a bit of a big difference there, but I don't think it's bad at all. So, I think the Laser Rock is actually viable over the Nightmare, if you want to save yourself some money, and it, the only difference really is a couple of K optimals and a couple of hundred DPS, which I think that's fair to say isn't really worth the 700 mil, unless you've already got Nightmare lying around. But like I say, you can pimp that up with the, the true Sancha heat sinks on both ships actually, so that would make quite a lot of difference to the rock as well. So that's it for this episode. Um, over the next couple of days we'll have the hybrid Tango kicking on, I'm still busy tinkering on with active and passive fits for that, so... Um, thanks for watching guys, please leave your comments below and let us know what you thought, any of that like, queries into the fit or if you want us to link it properly to you in game just give us a shout and I'll uh, see you in the next one.